Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Y'all's Chosen One. We're going to continue on the great book of, what is this? Exodus? Yeah, we're on chapter 31. All right, let's go ahead and get into it, man. And Yah spake unto Moshe, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Earth, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the spirit of, of the Almighty in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship to devise cunning works to work in gold and in silver and in brass. It's always in gold, silver, and brass. And in cutting of stones to set them and in carving of timber to work in all manner of workmanship. See these dudes back in the day, man, they knew how to carve up stuff, man. You know, we got all these we got all these uh machinery, all this machinery to do things today, but these dudes had technology back then too. And behold, and I behold have given him Ahilab, the son of Ahishamach, of the tribe of Dan. And in the hearts of all that are wise hearted, I have put wisdom that they may make all that I have commanded thee. The tabernacle of the congregation and the ark of the testimony and the mercy seat that is thereupon and all furniture of the tabernacle and the table and his furniture and pure candlestick with all his furniture and the altar of incense. And the altar of burnt offering with all his furniture, and the and the lyre and his foot, and the clothes of service, and the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office, and the anointing oil, and sweet incense for the holy place, according to all that I have commanded thee, shall they do. And Yah spake unto Moshe, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, or Yahshua, saying, Verily my Shabbat ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am Yah, that doth sanctify you. So, you know, all these people, all these, all these Israelites saying, Oh, the Shabbat is done away with. Yeah, I don't listen to have these fools. You know, it's you know, it comes to a point where you can have too much knowledge or you try to over knowledge stuff and things are really simple and the way the most high made is really simple. Alright. Ye shall keep the Shabbat thereof, for it is holy unto you. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul should be cut off from amongst his people. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Shabbat of rest. Holy to Yah, whosoever doeth any work in the Shabbat day, he shall surely be put to death. Now this is back in Exodus, so if you did any work during the Shabbat, six days you work, seven days you, you seven days you rest it. Sorry, on the seventh day you rested. I mean, it's pretty clear cut. Six days you work, seven days you rest, man. You know, all these people doing all this lunar stuff, and we in captivity. We don't do Shabbat now. I don't know what to tell them. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Shabbat to observe the Shabbat throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. Perpetual means continuance. It is a sign between me and the children of Yahshua forever. For in six days Yah made heaven and earth. And on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. And he gave unto Moshe when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai. Two tables of testimony. Tables of stone written with the finger of 
Yeah. That's in Jasher. What is this? 82.11. So there you have it, man. For all you... I know there's other verses in here talking about Shabbat and moves and stuff, but... You know, from what I'm reading right now, man, it's pretty simple, man. This is your Shabbat. Okay? It's the observance of the Shabbat. Six days, seven day you rest. People try to overcomplicate things, man. You can argue with me all you want to about it, but I don't care. It's your boy, Yah's chosen one.